okay now that we have completed with the complete pre processing part the next thing that i need to do is split the data set so splitting the data set is again quite easy i'm going to do i lock and i'm going to take everything leaving the last one for x and for y i am going to take every row of the last one so if you check x i have all of okay i have to pass the values as i need it in array format hmm and same thing for y why i have this so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to import train press split so from scikit-learn dot model selection import train test split and as i've always told you the first thing that i like the most is i uh, copy out an example from here rather than writing everything just copy out the example from here so let's copy this example let's copy this example over here okay and we have x and y uh, let's keep the test side uh, test size to 3 okay that is 30 percent of our data set will be for our test size and you can uh, keep the random state as mine that is 42 just to have the same solution as mine okay let's run this let's check okay let's check out x train yeah looks fine right everything looks fine now that we have our data uh one thing that you should be doing it uh, doing before uh, moving forward uh, further is let's scale the data okay let's scale the data so from scikit learn i'm going to call again pre-processing and i am going to import standards scalar okay next thing that i need to do is create an object of this class so scalar is equal to standard scalar uh, create an object of that class that's fine now uh, let's scale it okay. so i'll name it as scaled let's write s x train okay x x train and then scalar dot fit transform and let's pass x train into this and the same thing I'm going to do with x test. Let's take x test. Hmm. So we have the scale x train and x test, and we are going to train our model from that. So now comes the tricky part where you have to select out your model. What kind of model you are looking for? What will be the best fit over here? So what I can do, what I can suggest to you over here is you can try out different models over here. Okay, you can try out logistic regression, you can try out uh, decision tree, try out uh, K KNN, try out SVM, try out uh, Nave bias, try out uh, maybe random forest, try out, try out all the models. Okay, and then see which model is giving you the best result. Okay, as of now, I will try it out with, uh, let's do it out with random forest classifier. Okay, I'll try it out with random forest classifier. Let's look the solution. Assemble, import, random. Um, I'll import random forest classifier. I'll create an object. RFC is equal to random forest classifier. Okay, I'll just keep the N estimator as, um, let's change it to something bigger scale probably 250 just a random guess okay. now the next thing that i need to do is i need to fit my model okay so i'm gonna fit it on my x scaled x train and my y train okay this looks fine let's wait okay our model has been trained out so we need to do the prediction so let's take y thread y thread is equal to rfc dot predict uh, i'm going to predict it out on my scaled x test hmm. 
now the next thing that i need to do uh, i need to look into is my uh, confusion matrix and my classification report okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call from scikit learn dot uh, matrix import we have our classification report and confusion matrix right and uh, we will pass out our results over here just we have a quick view let's pass confusion matrix first confusion matrix okay let's look into white true and then white red we have to pa pass out our uh, the true value what is the true value the true value is white test and then the white red value hmm we yeah, see that uh, we have few uh, error 1 and error 2. Okay, same thing. Let's check it out for confusion matrix. What's the accuracy ex exactly we are getting? Uh, classification report. Let's pass out white test and then white red. Let's check. So <laughs> we are getting 80%, uh, which I guess is a good answer for now. If you guys try out different models or else if you do model selection in this, okay, try um, try out hyperparameter tuning in this and I'm pretty sure that you will be getting a far better result than this. So, yeah, we tried out a random forest model and we are getting 80% accuracy. Okay, 80% accuracy, which is quite a good accuracy. That is 80% of our time we are doing the correct job. Try out with SVM, try out with logistic regression and check out the solution over there, how much we are getting. And also do uh, your hyperparameter tuning in this. Do a grid search over here, grid search or random search over here. And I am pretty sure that you will be getting far better results than this. Okay, So that's it for the classification project. We have solved out our uh, second portfolio project that is uh, to predict the quality of wine, if it is good or bad. So that's it. We'll connect again in our next section when we start out with clustering.